This kind of horror frightens every parent everywhere. Can schools and police do anything to protect children from a crazed killer? Albuquerque Public Schools and police say they are doing everything they can think of, including lessons and drills. News 13's Kayla Ayers is in the Newsplex with more on that. Kayla? Dick, APS officials say they've been getting calls from parents asking for reassurance their kids are protected. To the best that we possibly can, we believe that we are prepared should we ever uh, face something as horrific as this. APS Communications Director Monica Armenta says the school district uses site safety plans, lockdown drills, and communication exercises to prepare students, teachers, and administrators for dangerous situations. Armenta also points to the school district's own police force, which puts officers on school campuses. Albuquerque police have officers on campuses, too. APD started offering training at local schools after the Columbine High School shooting in the late 90s. Everyone seems to agree a big part of preventing tragedies is communication. Stopping the threat before the threat becomes active is the key, and that involves communication with your counselors and your teachers and, and knowing those kind of behaviors and those red flag behaviors that, that might signal a warning. If you remember, we had a threat uh, that was later deemed to be credible at one of the middle schools. It was because someone very courageous came forward with that information, and we were able to avert what could have been um, another tragedy. The case Armenta just mentioned involved two sixth graders who allegedly drew up a plot to shoot up Tony Hillerman Middle School and then kill themselves. The plot was discovered back in September. The shooting was supposed to happen two days ago. Those two middle schoolers were expelled. Dick, back to you. Okay, Kayla, APS is offering online tips for parents on how to talk to your kids about this tragedy in Connecticut. You can find a link to that advice on our website, krqe.com. Just go there and click on news links. Now, we will have continuing coverage of the Connecticut murders. You can also get updates and a complete timeline of the events at krqe.com.